Okay, the problem we have here says sketch the graph of the function cosine squared x minus 1 on 0 to 2 pi using symmetry, intercepts, asymptote, relative extrema, and any points of inflection. Identify the open intervals in which the function is increasing or decreasing and concave up or down. So first, we got the function written down right here. And then first, we're going to find the domain, which was basically already told to us, which was 0 to 2 pi. So that's just the restrictions, which the graph cannot extend beyond. Next is symmetry. First, we'll find the x-axis symmetry, which you set the y to a negative, and see if that function is the same as the original function. And you can see it is not, because if you get rid of the negative, it messes the whole thing up. However, y-axis does work because you change the x to a negative x, but that will change to a positive anyway because it gets squared. So that would be the same as the original. So that one, there's a symmetry at the x-axis. Origin, there is not because of the negative y once again. So that does not work. So there's x-axis symmetry. Next are the intercepts. For the y-intercept, you set x to 0. So cosine squared of 0 minus 1, that turned out to be 1 minus 1 equals 0. So there's a y-intercept at y equals 0. Next is the x-intercept. You set y equals to 0. And you go through the steps. And you take the square root of both sides. So cosine of x equals positive and negative 1. And that turns out to be x equals 0 pi and 2 pi. So we both have a y and an x-intercept. Next are the asymptotes. There are none since there is a domain restriction. So there's no asymptotes in this. Next, we're going to find the extrema. What you do for this is you take the derivative of the function, which I found here, Two cos you bring down the 2 since it was a cosine squared. So you bring that down, you have to do a chain rule. So you multiply by that. So it turns out to be negative 2 times cosine of x times sine of x equals, you set it to 0 to find the x's. So the x's were pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi and 0. And 2 pi and 0 are the domain, so those are already in there. And then there's the th other three critical numbers that we found. So to find this, you, t you find the number in between each one. So for in between 0 and pi over 2 is pi over 3. So you plug that into the derivative up here. And that one turned out to be a negative, so it's decreasing down. Yeah. We're in between pi over 2 and pi. I found 2 pi over 3. You plug that into the derivative. You get a positive, so it's increasing. Next, pi, between pi and 3 pi over 2 is 5 pi over 4. And that turned out to be a negative when you put in the derivative. And it's decreasing. And lastly, the 3 pi over 2 with, and 2 pi, there was 5 pi over 3, and that was a positive increasing. So there is this graph is increasing pi over 2 pi and 3 pi over 2 2 pi and decreasing 0 pi over 2 and pi 3 pi over 2. So make sure that is correct on the graph. Next since we got found increasing and decreasing we can determine our max and mids. So you can see these three functions are max and mids because you can see it kind of like on the number line. Also on the number line, it's a closed interval. As you can see, it's blocked off so it can't extend beyond. So there can't be infinity or anything because of the domain. So what you do is you plug each number, critical number, into the original function, which is cosine squared of x minus 1. So you do that for the three of them right here. 
and it turns out to be that the relative max is pi 0. The relative mid is pi over 2, negative 1, and 3 pi over 2, negative 1. So that's our max and mids in increasing and decreasing. Next, we have concavity. To find the concavity, you take the second derivative. When you take the second derivative, it comes out to be... Also, there's another chain rule in the product rule, so it turns out to be negative 2 cosine squared minus sine squared. Set that equal to 0 to get your x's, which were pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Once again, you set up another number line with your closed intervals to the domain of 0 and 2 pi. So once again, you just do the same thing. You find the number in between each. So between 0 and pi over 4 is pi over 6. You plug that number into the second derivative function up here. And this one out, turns out to be less than 0. So it's concave down. Then between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 is pi over 2. That's greater than 0, so it's concave up. For between 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 is pi. That's less than 0, so it's concave down. Next is between 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4, which was 3 pi over 2. It's greater than 0, so it's concave up. And lastly, between 7 pi over 4 and 2 pi is 11 pi over 6, which is less than 0, so that's concave down. Yeah. So now we determine the concavity of this graph. So the final results are it's concave up from pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, and 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. It's concave down 0 to pi over 4, and 3 pi over 4, and to 3 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi. Now after determining concavity, we can find the point of inflection. For the point of inflection is when it turns from concave up to concave down. So for this graph, since it goes back and forth between each one, each of these four x numbers are points of inflection. So we'll determine that like our first number was pi over 4, which is here. You plug these into the original function, and all of them turn out to be negative uh, 1 half. So the points of inflection are pi over 4, negative 1 half, 3 pi over 4, negative 1 half, 5 pi over 4, negative 1 half, and 7 pi over 4, negative 1 half. So there we found all of the um we found all of the points that we need for this graph. So to draw this graph out, we have to determine to make sure it has all the stuff I highlighted. Make sure that is on the graph. So the symmetry domain intercepts. Increasing and decreasing relative max and mids and the concavity and points of inflection and the graph that turns out to look like this. And as you can see, it looks like we got our max and mids and increasing and decreasing. And there's our graph for this problem.